Out in deep space, where no one can hear you scream, an intrepid band of astronauts have pledged to clean up space. The beauty of this magnificent silence is only broken. Is this number one? Sorry, no one's in. Try next door. <laughs> Who was that, Commander? I don't know, Bill. Someone in the airlock, I think. But there shouldn't be anyone in the airlock. I don't think we're expecting visitors. Probably a delivery driver from Hermes, I expect. <laughs> yes, that's it, Bill. Probably Hermes. Wait a minute. On the computer screen, it says they're sending up a technician, Nigel Fink, to help us out. That was probably him, then. I'll go and check just in case, Bill. It's minus 270 out there. You still here? I'm awaiting orders. Are you the commander of Brexit 1? Yes, indeed I am. Are you astronaut technician, second class Nigel Fig? Of course I am. I'm not a delivery driver from Hermes. <laughs> Good job I didn't go next door. It's a long way down and there's a big gap. Don't worry, Fig. That was just a little joke, a bit of space humour. Come in, wipe the space dust off your feet. After all, how can you expect to clean up space if our spaceship isn't shipshape, Fig? It is shipshape. It's got a pointy bit at the front, some wings and a booster. I spotted it when I was coming up from a hundred miles away. I said, look, that's a spaceship. Yes, you're very observant. That will come in handy, won't it, when you spot the space junk. You're the sort of chap we like in the space junkies. But that's not our real name. It's a jokey, matey sort of thing. Our real name is UKSF Waste Management. That's our official name. Don't use space junkies in front of any knobs, for example. So you've done the course then. Come in and you can meet the rest of the lads. Do you like beer? Ooh, I love beer. I'm beginning to feel well. I love a glass of beer. It's my favourite. <laughs> well, that's a shame. We haven't got any. <laughs> Will all crew report to the flight deck? Sir, this is Nigel Fig, is it? Yes, I come from a long line of Fig. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Bill Balls. Pleased to meet ya. That's a funny name. <laughs> oh, no need to hit me. I'm afraid Bill is a bit sensitive about his name. Respect your seniors at all time, Fig. But don't worry, Bill has got a heart of gold. Don't respond to the violence. That's the best way. <laughs> It can get very claustrophobic in here. We're having to live on top of one another, Fig. It can affect a man's mind. You trained in the submarine service, didn't you? Month after month under the polar ice. <laughs> no, what gave you that idea? I did six months as a red coat at Butlins. <laughs> well, I never... Who's this? I thought we had a full crew. I told Command Central that I did all the other jobs up here. Being a dead hand at everything, as you well do. <laughs> This is astronaut technician Nigel Fig. UK Space Force thought you might need a hand collecting the space junk. Yes, well, no, there are some extremely dangerous jobs you can take off my hands and by collecting the space bins other craft put out. <laughs> dangerous? No one told me it was going to be dangerous. They never do, do, do they? You won't last six months, Fig. It's the cosmic radiation, you know. You look a bit sallow. I'll give you five. <laughs> come, 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 space flight engineer. Hitch, don't tease the poor lad. Don't worry, Nigel. He's only winding you up. Oh, thank heavens. I was worried I wasn't going to get to eat my Easter eggs. <laughs> Yes, don't listen to him, all that radiation nonsense. It will take at least two years to kill you. <laughs> well, that's not so bad, is it? Right, now if you could show me to my neck. Yes, we've got the latest super fast broadband thing. Don't worry about anything. If an asteroid is about to knock you miles into space at 20,000 miles per hour, we'll let you know well before it happens. <laughs> Will the asteroid fit in my net? Now look here, Fig. No, wait, wait, listen, you don't need a net. The United Kingdom Space Command Spaceship Brexit 1 uses a grab and lassoes any space rubbish and then pulls it in. It's my job to steer the probe. I do that as I'm your superior officer. <laughs> I was hoping to use a net. I brought a small one. I used to collect butterflies as a boy. You won't get nothing in there. We're talking about parts of spaceships like the Russian Vostok. 20 foot high it is. Oh dear, I've got a bad back. 
I can't do any heavy lifting. <laughs> Anything bigger than a coffee mug is out of the question. Don't worry, Nigel, you can put some pounds on. We've got weights in Brexit One's gym. Oh, all right, then I don't want you to think I'm a seven stone weakling. So, how, how much do you weigh then? Seven stone. <laughs> Anyway, if my job involves collecting the rubbish, what does your job involve? Uh, well, it involves telling you to collect the rubbish, doesn't it, of course? <laughs> He's also the ship's cook. No, no, wait, wait listen, I'm much more than that. Thank you very much. I'm the Unite Union Shop Steward. Be careful, I'll send you all out on strike. <laughs> Big seems to be a nice lad, a bit soft, but we'll toughen him up. Brexit 1 and the Space Junkies will be a good lesson for him, Bill. Oh, I'm glad you think so. Oh, I think he's a clueless numpty. <laughs> so you don't think he'll pass muster, then? Oh, I certainly won't. Are you sure he's qualified? Says here, he's got his B-Tech in astronautics, and then he went to night school, and now, seven years later, he's a fully qualified space shuttle commander. So he's got the same rank as you, then. Good thing in Bill, I'd better delete that. <laughs> but don't tell him. Where is he now? No, no, yes, well, he told me he was going to get a tan on the sun deck. Silly Billy. We haven't got a sun deck. <laughs> Well, yes, listen, oh, oh, that's right, I was going to mention it, but I forgot. <laughs> I better get up there. Where exactly is he? Well, yes, no, no, listen, I think he's taken off his outer space and he's lying on the nose cone. <laughs> space Technician Fig, where are you? I'm up here, I'm sitting on the pointy bit. I think it's called the nose cone. <laughs> Be careful you don't slip, or you'll never be able to get your back. Don't worry, I can't slip. I've got my magnetic boots on. And if I do, you can use the Space Junk Retrieval Probe to scoop me up. There's some problems with that fig. Brexit 1 isn't made of iron. Your boots won't work. It's made of recycled plastic. <laughs> and the probe doesn't work yet. We're having technical difficulties. What technical difficulties? We don't know how to work it. <laughs> Yeah, we got the instructions. Amazon left them out of the package Jeff Bezos sent us. All right, now I'll come down. It's not much fun up here. I was hoping to get a really good tan. We've got to be nearer the sun up here, aren't we? You're in luck. If you stay out much longer, you'll be burnt to a crisp, won't you? It's all right. I've got me factor 50. <laughs> OK, I'll come back with you and then I'll cling on, if that's all right. Careful, or we'll both be over. Put your arms round my waist. Mmm, this is fun. You're rescuing me. It's like Strictly Come Dancing, isn't it? If you don't stop treading on my toes, you'll be in the flaming dance-off fig. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What's that noise? Duck. It was a duck, was it? <laughs> no, it was a piece of space rubbish. Oh, I think it was an old pizza box. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, that was spaceflight engineer Inch's meal last night. He ejected it out of the airlock by mistake. Now it's orbiting Brexit 1. <laughs> but keep stum about it. We don't want Boris or anyone else knowing we're meant to be cleaning up space, not filling it full of our own garbage. <laughs> Let's get in quick. I'll practice capturing that with the probe once we get it working. Ooh, safe at last. We're at the airlock. Now, space technician Fink, I'm going to have to confine you to quarters for going out of bounds without permission. It's a dangerous, hostile world out there. You endangered a colleague. Command pilot balls. <laughs> I'm sorry, it wasn't my fault. I needed to stretch my legs. I quite like it out there, though. I felt at home. It was like being at one with the whole of space. And we'll have none of that talk. Space can drive a man wild. Keep your feet on the ground, Fig. I wish I could now, but I'm up here, aren't I? <laughs> now, if you just show me to my sleeping quarters, Commander, it's been a long day and I'll get my head down. Sleeping quarters, Fig, are under space flight engineer hitches. Ooh, that sounds cosy. How far under are they? About three feet. It's bunk beds. 
Oh, wait, wait, listen. Oh, really, Commander? Skip. I must protest. Do I have to sleep with him? Can't I have a room? I'm a bit old for roommates and all that. But he'll probably play loud music in bed. <laughs> Room in Brexit 1 is at a premium. We all have to make sacrifices, Inch. Well, in that case, why don't you set us an example and share with Think yourself, Commander. Keep him under your wing or preferably on the fuselage. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't. There's no room. My quarters are full of essential supplies. Or booze, you mean? Absolutely not. It's an outrageous suggestion. I put my foot down as senior officer on this flight. <laughs> Mmm, this is lovely and cosy. Good night, Commander. Shh, go to sleep, Fig.